Hey guys, what's up? Nick here once again. This is going to be another Vegas Pro 17 tutorial on credits or how to add credits to your video or at the end of your video, I should say. Well, it could be at the starting as well. But I know that there's not really many videos out there showing or detailing how to add these professionally and the easiest way possible. So let's jump right into it. Once you get Vegas Pro 17 open, you're just going to get your blank slate here. If it doesn't look like this for you, I highly recommend checking out my Vegas Pro 17 for beginners video. It's like got like 500,000 views. It's doing pretty damn well and people seem to like it. I'll have a link in the description below if you are a beginner. But if you've already watched that or if you know the gist or the basics of Vegas, then let's get started. So let's say you've already got your video inside of Vegas Pro and you're ready to render it out and you're done. But you want to add, again, some credits to it. So let's add a video file here. I'm just going to insert an old uh, review that I did on my channel, which is on the Arctis 7 wireless. And we're just going to add some credits onto the end of it. Pretty simple. So once that's loaded in, we're just going to drag it and drop it down in the timeline. It'll automatically create a video and a audio track. And from there, we're just going to say la di da di da. We already edited the whole video and we're about to end it. So we have two options. You can either A, add credits in a black screen right at the end of the video, or you can have it transparent and over the video itself. I'll show you how to do both. So let's say you just want to have a black screen, nothing in the background, and just have your credits with some music. So with this video, I already had like an ending with just like a black screen. What I'm going to do is cut that off. So let's say like this is where the video ended, right? And then what we're going to do is go to our media generators tab. And then from here, as you can see, they have an already made credit roll effects area. Uh, before we get into that, though, I'm going to use a solid color and we're just going to use black as the background. And then you can just leave it the way it is, exit out of that. And then this is just a solid black background, as you can see. And you can have this, this whatever length that you want. For right now, we're just going to have it about the default length. Now what we're going to do is go to this empty space down here. We're going to right click and hit insert video track and a new video track will pop up above this one. And this is where we're going to go up to the credit roll area. Now, there's a couple that are already pre-made essentially for you, depending on what you're looking for in your credits. If you're just looking for the very average generic scroll up or down to up, uh, that is the very first one. If you want it over a transparent background, same with this one. Uh, this one is like fading in, fading out. Uh, zooming in, zooming out, from the left side going up, from the right side going up, uh, from the down going, uh, from the up going down, you know what I mean? There's so many different variations. Um, but you can edit these all through each one of these. So let's just do the generic one. We're just going to click and drag it. And as you can see, this window will pop up and we get a couple different already pre-made settings. So off the bat, they give you a header, they give you one item, and then they give you a double item. So it's an item on the left and a right, and a longer item on the left and right. Uh, so essentially, this is what it would look like if we were just uh, press play from the beginning. You got your title, your one text, and then you have like your names on both sides, kind of in a professional manner. And it's roughly about like 15 seconds long, maybe a little shorter than that. Um, but let's jump back into that. That's just this little window here, the generated media tab uh, to get back to here. Now you can actually position it to wherever you want by just clicking and dragging these squares. So you can make it like way over here on the right side of the screen, or you can leave it in the middle by just dragging them both out. You can change the scroll direction from up to down if you would prefer. You can change the effect, which is a time sequence, which you'd have to animate yourself or just doing these scrolling credits. Switching between the styles is where you can change your font, the size, the color, boldness, italics, positioning, uh, the, the speed or the tracking between the text, all that stuff. Pretty, pretty cool. You also change the color of the background if this wasn't a transparent one. So right now, this is a plain scrolling on black. So let's say that this background color wasn't black. Let's just change it to like blue. As you can see, I don't see that, right? Because my text is above it. So if you wanted to show your text above the ending of your video, for instance, if I wanted to have it over here uh, where it's just over my face or whatever for some reason, what you would do is go back into the generated media tab. You go up to this little uh, scroll bar, I guess. Click this little down arrow. You get a ton of different options. And we're just going to do scrolling on transparent. Click on that. And there you go. It's going to be the exact same thing. It's just going to be going over your video file.
pretty simple. But for the sake of the rest of the video and to make this look a little better, we're just gonna do it over the blue background. So next thing is what you wanna do is add your actual text. Uh, so I'm just gonna create a mock-up essentially of what an ending credits would look like. So we're gonna do a different header here. So I'm just gonna type in, this is the end and then uh, produced by, and just make up some names. And then if you wanted to add more, obviously, what you can do is go up here to insert a row or you can delete rows. You can import text from files. So if you already have it like in a Word document, you can import it right to here, which is super convenient. And then you can export these as well if you wanna save them for a future project, which is pretty cool. But if you wanna just copy and paste the same thing, what I do is I select like, let's say I want more left to right or maybe another one of these and just hit insert row and it'll actually turn it into the same thing. The only downside of doing that is obviously you can't choose where the position is. So I'm gonna actually delete that by just right clicking and delete. I'm gonna go down here. I'm gonna right click and insert row. And I'm gonna change this to a single just by clicking and dragging. So you can select a header, single, or double. So we'll do single. And this time we're just gonna say directed by, I'm gonna insert another one. And this will just be one person. So I don't know, my name. And then we'll do one more. So that's a very simple, obviously, mock-up of uh, an ending credit sequence. So let's X out of that and see what this looks like. This is the end, produced by Harry McFinger, Laura Wright, John Barnerhart Butters, directed by Nick Thick. Special thanks to all of you. Now, obviously the background uh, disappeared, so we gotta drag it out to match the uh, scrolling. Now, if you wanted to scroll slower or have more in incense and make it longer so if you had a lot of uh, credits what you would do is there's a couple ways to do this to change it essentially uh the easiest way is to hold your control key and then click on the end and drag it out this will make it much much slower as you can see so that's the new one and this is where it was i'm just gonna again hold control and drag it back you can see the difference in the speed there so obviously it'll look a lot better if it's slower because people can easy, easily read it. So let's say you wanted to get rid of these dots or have less space in between these two names, because honestly, this looks pretty bad. Uh, let's go back into the video media generator area here. We're gonna click on styles. Make sure we're selected on the right one, because you have to do these for individually, all of them essentially. And what we're gonna do is change the left and the right styles here for the alignment. Uh, so you can move this as long as you can have it like in the middle or you can have it even more indented if you'd like and same with the other one so you have them pretty close or maybe medium i say that looks pretty good and i don't like the the dots in the between so what you're going to do is the connect sides with i'm going to turn that into spaces so it just looks like that and then that looks a lot better you could do a lot of other things too you could do underlines you could do dashes there's a ton of options in here so kind of just play around with it whatever looks best for you i personally just like the open space you can also change the tracking so you can have them really spread out or really crunched up. Totally up to you and your, I guess, the way you prefer it. But it's kind of cool you can edit that to make it look the way that you want it to. Another way to change the duration, by the way, if you didn't want to stretch it out, because this does have a limit, by the way. You can only stretch it out so far. Uh, that is the farthest it'll stretch out. So this is the slowest you can make the credits or the longest essentially you can make the credits. But let's say you wanted to uh, make it longer or add a lot more. The other way to do this is to go back into here and we're going to actually go up to the duration and you can turn this to any size you want. Uh, so we can make it 10 minutes and nine seconds long. And then when you exit, what you're gonna have to do is drag this out without holding control. You have to drag this out to the right proportion of 10 minutes long. So that's obviously gonna be pretty dang long, but essentially you'd wanna drag it out to the size that you prefer. And that's how you do that. And as you can see, it's gonna be really slow. Like it's like snail slow. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But if you really wanted it to be that long or if you had that much information to put in credits, that is how you change the duration. It's just right up here, pretty simple. And one last thing we'll get into again, if you do wanna do other effects and just scrolling, there's other ones right in here. The time you can fade in from black, zoom in, zoom out, scrolling. Uh, all these different variations you can just come in here and mess with. And it's all, all these settings are right here. 
I don't really need to go into each individual one, but that essentially is how you do it. It's pretty cool, pretty easy. And I think once you've done it a couple times, it'll become second nature and you can add it at the end of every single one of your videos, your movies, or whatever you're creating with Vegas Pro. So I hope this helped you in some way, shape or form. Uh, if it didn't, or if you had any questions or anything that didn't make much sense, please let me know in the comment section below and I will gladly get back to you and try to help you out with any way that I can. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for your support as of late. It's been amazing. Leave a like to show your support as always. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one. And we'll hopefully see you in the next one. Peace out.